Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat, and in today's video, we're going to discuss how to use the chip clear in the Prototrack RLX on the lathe. And first of all, before we get started, I just want to explain a little bit of what we're doing. So if you look at the screen here, you're going to notice that I have a simple cycle program in here that has three roughing passes and then it has the finished cuts and such. And a lot of times if you're cutting pretty aggressively in a lathe, you might get to what we call the bird's nest, which is where all the chips kind of pile up and get wrapped around the part and you have to stop and clean them out. So without having to leave the run mode, we can just go to the chip clear, move it out of the way, get that bird's nest out of there, and then go back and resume what we were doing. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to the run mode, okay? And then it's gonna tell me to start. And as always, it's gonna process and then tell me when I'm ready to push go. So when I push go, it's gonna move to the beginning, remind me to put in the first tool, start the spindle, and I'm ready to rock and roll, okay? Now I always start out with tracking, so I'm gonna do that too, but first I gotta reposition myself so I'm out of the way of the camera, okay? So from here, I'm going to go to CNC run normally, but in this case, I want to start out with tracking. So I'm going to turn on my spindle, and as I start to dial into the part, I just want to make sure I'm in the right place. It's kind of stop in here. It looks like I'm right where I need to be. Okay, so I'm going to push stop, go to CNC run, and then let it run. So as you kind of see right here, I actually did such a good job of programming on it that I'm not getting a bird's nest, but I'll show you how it works anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit chip clear. And when I go to chip clear, it's gonna allow me to override where the position of the tool is like so. Okay, so once I'm here, whether I'm using the hand wheels or I'm using the jog stick, I can get out of the way, clean all of my chips out of the way so that I can see what I wanna do. And then when I wanna go back, I have two choices. One is hit resume and let it go right back in a straight line to where it was. The other one would be to dial it to where I want to be close enough and then hit resume from there, okay? So I'm going to push resume, turn my spindle back on and let it run. Okay, so as you can see, I didn't actually get a bird's nest at the time, but it doesn't really matter. It still works the same way, right? So whether I get that or not, there might be a time where I just need to stop in the middle of a run cycle and measure where I'm at before I finish the part so that I get it right the first time. Or it might actually be that there are chips in the way, but either way, the process works the same. A couple things that I wanna point out now that you've seen how it works. Whenever I use chip clear and I move away from the part in X and Z, if I just push resume and push go, it's gonna go in a straight line to exactly where it was. You have to keep in mind where you're at when you leave that part of the run mode. For instance, if I'm working inside the part, and let's say I'm doing something like an interior groove, I'm gonna move away towards center in the X, I'm gonna jog it out in Z to get it out of the way, right? And I may have to move it again in X just to get in there and see what I'm doing. If that's the case and I push go, a straight line's going through the part to get back to where it was, right? So as handy as this is, I still have to be cognizant of what I'm doing. So in that case, I would probably still turn it in an X with the hand wheel to get it to the center and then get it into the hole. And at that point, push resume and it'll take over and work accordingly, okay? Same thing would be true if I was doing a groove on the outside and I stopped in the middle of it. I'd come out in X, move over in Z. When I go to resume, I would take the hand wheel first, dial it back in X and then let it go in and it would work properly, okay? So this concludes how easy it is to use. It's very beneficial to have it. I think you're gonna be happy that you know how to use it now. And as always, if you got questions, let us know because we always wanna hear about it. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, as always, keep on tracking. Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat. And if you enjoyed this last video, don't forget to smash the like button, leave a comment, follow along with us. If you wanna see the next video, just check this one out over here. And otherwise, don't forget to subscribe so you can learn more about us. I'm Tracking Pat, and don't forget to keep on tracking.